it's either the coolest thing you've ever seen or the creepiest thing you've ever seen. Oh, you sleep like the dead in there. It's nice. <laughs> It started out as a tattoo vehicle. I own a tattoo shop. Then Mike had the idea of converting it into a camper. And then I've always been into the horror movies and stuff like that, so it was appropriate for sure. The Munsters TV show from the 60s, Grandpa Munster built a uh, dragster uh, out of a coffin and was dubbed Dragula, so the name was sort of blended from that. This creepy camper is perfect for folks dying to go travelling. Based on an original Cadillac hearse, the Nance brothers converted this chilling caddy into a stand-up two-berth RV. Packed full of features, including a working fireplace, this dark RV definitely gets some interesting looks from your fellow campers. I brought it to Chris. He was on board and we got to work pretty much right away. We added coil over shocks. The driveline is essentially stock. It was a factory GM 5.7. The hardest part of this conversion probably comes down to raising the roof, creating square footage. Well, we started with this plane. It started by getting scalped, and then this portion is was framed in with steel. The, the goal from the beginning was really wanted it to look as though it was always a hearse motorhome. Leaving the lumbar on the side that you see that everyone identified as a hearse. The three rib design is dual purpose as an aerodynamic feature. As well, we were after something that looked similar to the front entrance of a mortuary or funeral home. Side doors, they provide a side entry to the sleeping area. Baskets in the back here are basically just storage. It has solar maintenance for the onboard batteries. The lower door is the outdoor kitchenette, but the AV system does swing out. Has a removable stair and hop on in, and hang out, watch a movie, listen to some tunes. This area RV has some clever features and inside is just as thought out. Sofa folds out into a bed, but it's really just a lounge. You, know, you hang out, watch TV, watch the fireplace, listen to the radio. Refrigerator in the cabinet. Uh, the rug in the bottom is, is sort of the dude's rug. The dude's rug from the Big Lebowski. A full on bathroom facility was really the one thing we, we had to scratch. For as tall as it is on a chassis that was never intended to be that tall, there's very little body roll and sway. It is unique and it definitely gets that response from folks when they see it. Either a thumbs up or a disgruntled look. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I enjoy the approvals, but see if I get a Karen that just really gives me a frown over it, I love that the most. This fits my, my character and my personality, so it's me. I can go to my funeral in it when I'm done. <laughs>